everybody, it's Haley of Moth Child Cosplay, here to swoosh my hair. Not really. I'm here to complain to you for the next two weeks about how much I am stressing out over Katsucon 2018. None of my costumes are done. Let's get started. First things first, thing I've been starting everything out with, my Death Knight Tier 10. Hopefully in the next two or three days I will be completely done. Tonight I am gluing in all of my resin eyeballs. I am setting up the LEDs tomorrow and then all I have to do is I have to finish painting one of my pauldrons and then just wiring everything through my clothes. Speaking of painting pauldrons, this is the only thing left to paint. And this was the one that was kind of stressing me out a nice bit, but I got it together. Another thing that I finished plasti dipping recently was my two-handed weapon. When you guys like last and first saw this, it was just the blueprint, the paper pattern, and it has since transformed into a three foot long, one and a half handed sword. I'm very disappointed in the overall length of it, and I'm a little disappointed in the smoothness of the blade itself, but at this point I do not really have the time to perfect this. I just gotta get it done. The little doodaddies that are hanging out right now are my LEDs. There is a switch hidden right here. They are purple because it lights up purple. Whoop. Once, like I said, my death night should be done in like two or three days. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm sure you guys remember my last vlog in which I showed you my leggings for my death night. They featured this nice, vibrant purple color, which is a very pretty color of purple, but it's too bright for my armor. So what I did is I, I dyed it and I took it from this vibrant purple to this really nice dark purple. Almost like an eggplant color. This is exactly the color purple that I was looking for and I am genuinely so freaking happy that the dye was able to do exactly what I wanted. Another thing that I dyed was my Yaya Han four-way stretch chainmail print fabric. That's a mouthful to say. <laughs> so this was the original color. It's kind of a purpley sort of gray, uh, purpley pinky I guess, and it was nice. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but I just kind of wanted it to be a little bit darker. So I got this. I took some purple and black fabric dye, obviously fabric dye, and I just darkened it by like, I don't know, maybe five shades. I wish it were a little bit darker, but if it were any darker, I'm afraid that I might lose some of the highlights and lowlights and the illusion. And I think that actually wraps it up for what I've been doing with my death night. Now, if you're asking yourself, man, Haley, you were gone for two weeks and you didn't really do a lot with your death night. You're right. You're very, very right. I'm very disappointed. But another reason for that is because I started another project about a week ago, which is my Heartseeker Ash. And if you've been following me on Instagram, then you've like seen me rant about this. The first pieces for Heartseeker Ash that I made were her bodice, which I used Yaya Han's corset pattern, which was pretty nice. It was a pretty nice pattern for this. I only had to alter it by taking it in an inch off of the back and I just took that right off the back seam because it really didn't make that much of a difference for the way that it fit or along the sides or anything. Also made my skirt and my skirt is two full circle skirts, the circumference of which were half of my waist measurement. So two 13 inch circle skirts combined together to be 25 inches because half inch seam allowances and then the zipper. To give the hem a lot of flounce I added horsehair braid which really really gives it some structure and body to help control all the structure and body that the horsehair gives i tacked it in place to really like give these ruffles the exact shape that i wanted i'm really really happy with both of those pieces the other two things for ash that i have worked on and that i am very very close to being done with all i have to do is line both of these are her cloak which is this thing this gold vinyl I used heat and bond to glue on and then I top stitched along all of the edges and the same goes for this beautiful red heart. Um, this gold is the four-way gold stretch from the Aya Han collection. It was just the nicest quality gold I could get my hands on at Joann's and this was just a nice satin from the Casa collection. It's the same stuff that I used for the corset and the skirt. And then on top of that, I also have almost entirely completed my Heartseeker Ash jacket. And like I said, I'm still not done. I still have to line it. But look at my beautiful lycra sleeves, my, my stretch applique on my stretch sleeves. I also had to dye this fabric. This fabric was a bit too purpley 
so I went and thankfully it was the tiniest bit lighter so I was able to dye it and give it a nice subtle blue. And the same goes for the gold applique. I heat and bond and then top stitched along it. Um, some of it's kind of ugly because I was brushing myself. I was not taking the time that I needed to to make sure my project was good. And that's what happens when you rush yourself. Like you get a really, really crappy project. I still have to put together Ash's bow and her stockings. And once the shoes come in, I have to customize my wedges. But that's really, really it for Ash. Ash is genuinely like almost done. All of the tiny little pieces are um, made. Some of them are, are drying from plastic dip outside. So once my good friend Jackie comes over and we have like a painting day, it's, it's all gonna be good. It's all gonna be done. High key stressed for Katsukon, if you guys cannot tell. I'm really looking forward to it. And honestly, the second that I finish my death night, I will be okay. Uh, I will feel a lot less stressed and I'll feel a lot more relieved. My death night, like I said before, is my competition piece and that really, really stresses me out. I go into this competition the same way that I did last year. I don't anticipate winning anything. I'm going there because I love meeting other creators and I love experiencing it. Katsukan especially has an amazing creative community. So I am looking forward to seeing everybody. Uh, a couple of people have reached out to me already and been like, hey, I'm gonna be in this costume on this day. I really hope I see you, we can get pictures and I love that. Um, let me know. I really, really do want to get pictures with like everybody that I possibly can. This year, I want to make more friends. I want to be more active and social within the community. Um, not just like my local New York community, but the community at, at large. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope to see you guys at KatsuCon. If you're not going to KatsuCon, I hope to see you next week. And if I don't see you next week, I hope to see you at a convention. <laughs>